brothers and sisters. Wow. Yo, well, I'll go on internet, Kyle Linux there. Uh, if you've ever deleted your i3 config file by accident, I've got the video for you. <laughs> I deleted my i3 config file today by accident. Um, it's it, messing around symbolic links and my Git repository and not making sure that I backed up the file ahead of time uh, led me to having a lost config file. So. It's a bad time, but luckily in, in that moment, I learned something new. I learned that you can actually back up your, well not back up, but you can recover your permanently deleted i3 config file. You just have to meet a certain set of requirements. First of which being you have not restarted i3 and the second being you have not rebooted your PC. So you haven't done either of those things uh, post deleting the file, right? So I didn't do either of those. And then I used i3 message to recover my config file. So let's do that right now for those of you out there who may have stumbled into the same issue. So um, I was in Ranger a second ago. You can ignore that. And I'm going to clear this. So what you want to do is run i3 message and dash T for type. And then also um, you're going to run the IPC message command, which is I think, get config. Yeah. So get config. And then once you type that out, I'll have a, there'll be a large version of what I typed up on the screen. So you'll, um, you'll be able to see that with no problems. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so now you have an exported version of your um, config file. So it, it's the same as if you ran um, cat on the config file itself, just displays right in the terminal. But let's say you want to export this to an actual file and you don't want to have to sit here and highlight and copy and paste. You can do that simply by running the same command again. So I'll just hit the up arrow on my keyboard. So I three message dash T get config and then greater than sign. And uh, you'll just do the path to where your config file was originally. So we'll do doo -doo 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 dot config I three and then the name of the file, which is config hit enter and then boom, you now have the file there. And just to confirm that it's there, we're just going to do uh, well, just because I'm lazy. Oh, whoa. All right. This actually ended up taking longer. I should have just typed it out. But anyway, uh, home. And then we're going to just list what's in that folder. And boom, there's the config file right there. So great. Now let's just cat to make sure it is, uh, it has been written to, and we do have all the uh, settings that we had originally. And yeah, it's the exact same file if I scroll up. Yep. There we go. So yeah, so that is a simple way in which you can uh, get your config file back if you accidentally deleted it. I recommend that you don't accidentally delete your i3 config file. Um, instead, you know, back up that file if you're going to make any changes or um, toy with symbolic links or uh, do a git pull without double checking um, that the file is is uh, isn't going to be overwritten. So uh, yeah, that's it. That that's really it. that is the simple tidbit of the day. Additionally, I wanted to uh, just express my extreme gratitude to each and every one of you out there who has been tuning in and um, all of all of you have been subscribing. Uh, I just hit over 800 subscribers and um, it, it feels pretty good because I remember, you know, I remember when I hit like 50 subscribers or 100 and I was like, whoa, man, 50 people or 100 people want to uh, continuously watch this content that's a great feeling 800 is like oh my god it's over it's overwhelming in a sense right um but yeah give thanks to each and every one of you that you want to tune in and um learn more um as i learn and uh learn from my mistakes as i make them it's it's a uh, it's just reassuring that the content that i'm creating and putting out there is beneficial to other people um that's been my goal uh, with this channel I, as i learn this you know, traverse this new realm of um, tech and information, um, I want to share that knowledge with other people in hopes that, you know, it makes their journey a bit easier as well. So really and truly give thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. Um, I hope to 
well not just hope to but i will make sure that i continue producing um content and do it a little bit more frequently because i'm seeing now that there are like gaps you know weeks at a time before i post anything new so um i don't want to you know like basically make people wait too long for stuff and then you know have them wonder if i still create content so um that that, that soon come basically soon come so uh additionally i've gotten an opportunity thanks to all of you who have been subscribing and tuning in um and making me aware of you know this this much broader world of linux i've gotten a chance to work with and collaborate with other linux users and have great conversations with them like for example hex dsl has had me on um the x penguin podcast that he hosts um over on his channel and i'm sure that m pretty much all of you if you're watching this you are you've probably been subscribed to hex for maybe years now um because his content's been around for a long time and it's been great since you know the beginning so um Definitely, if you have not subscribed over there, you 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 don't know what I'm talking about. Definitely hop over there now. Just hop on YouTube and search for HexDSL and um, tune in. He's got great videos for uh, Linux gaming, uh, configurations for your system, uh, tile and window managers, did you name it. And then there's also the X-Penguin podcast, which is really great. Um, if you just like hearing about Linux news or just hearing different individuals um, have a great discussion about Linux, it's, it's, it's awesome to tune in and, and listen to. Um, on top of that, um, I've gotten the opportunity to uh, try some new games as of late. Chris Ware um, over at the Chris Ware Digital YouTube channel has sent me um, a copy of Hitman Blood Money. And uh, I've been streaming that over on Twitch, so thank you, Chris. Also, thank you, Hex, for having me on X Penguin, man. I greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I've been playing Hitman Blood Money over on my Twitch, um, twitch.tv slash KyleNixCast. So if you have a board, you can hop over there and check that one out. Um, and then also, uh, Venomous Pictures, which is another YouTube channel um, headed or spearheaded by uh, Unholy Vision that uh that youtube channel also does a lot of linux content um and uh stress tests or benchmarks of games comparing um linux games running in proton versus linux games running uh natively um he just did one recently of uh r not rise of the tomb raider but shadow of the tomb raider um and also he has a podcast that he started recently called rebel tech tv that um i was honored to you know be part of he invited me over to chat with him and two other great linux youtubers um that i've been tuning into which is linux city and savvy nick um so you know check out all of these folks they produce great content they're really cool people as far as just the conversations that we've had and and um their ideas of different things so i'll post links to all those folks in the description below um, and again, I want to give thanks to each and every one of you and then all of the uh, aforementioned Linux YouTubers um, just for the opportunity to continue learning from you all and continue having these conversations with you all because it's, it's, it's broadening my scope a bit as far as Linux is concerned. So um, give thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> and with all that being said, this has been Kai Linux. And remember, no matter what distro you use out of many, one Linux, give thanks. Peace.